Hello everybody, and welcome back once again to Let's Play East Shade. Here we are, in Lindo, having washed up after a slight mishap on a ship. We've got acquainted with some of the locals. We've helped a child create a canvas and done some painting. And uh, it's now half past four and we want to spread our wings a little and uh, just go for a mosey on through towards wherever that is going to lead us. We're hoping towards Nather, but if we don't get anywhere that looks like civilization, um, soonish we'll probably come back here, rest in the inn for the night, and then head out proper in the morning. But for the time being, what we're going to do is we're just going to have a wander around the woods, yes. We're going to unleash our sense of exploration. Which I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Just aimlessly wandering. Seeing what we can unearth and find. I think that's perfectly uh, a viable option. Now I'm actually switching my control method. It's, it's not quite a high octane first person shooter so quick precision shooting is not required so I'm actually resorting to the much more sedate and comfortable uh, control pad. I've also turned down the music a little bit further because it was still a, a touch too loud so hopefully now everything is a-ok -okay, um, with, with, with those things. So anyway without further ado let's just go for a walk. And if we get hungry, who knows, maybe we'll eat some of those pastries that we were given. Just because we can. So we can pick some herbs. This is going to turn into a Skyrim situation, isn't it? Where uh, <laughs> we start picking up every single herb and flower and plant we come across. Because, hey, why not? Oh, got a split path situation. Which means we shall go left. Look at that. Silence is golden. No kids screaming. No animals making a sound. Just the sound of the ambiance. The crickets. The sound of the running water. It's fantastic. I've had a pretty long day at work today. Started at half seven, finished at five. Because I had a, a workshop. And so I thought, you know what? A way to unwind this evening. Play some of this. Stick my little smelly candle on. It'll be lovely. So uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this session. This is a toll bridge. Excellent. What you're trying to say is, thou shall not pass. Is that right? Oh, there's the toll. Um, 60, glo 60 glowstones. I don't even have a single one. Disappointing. Can we swim? <laughs> Probably not. Nope, it's too deep. So we have. Oh, hang on. It's this, uh, there's a person here. A fisher person. Can't this. Hello there, newcomer, are you? Trying to get across the bridge, I guess. I hope you've got the glowstones for it. It's not free, you know. The rule is you pay once and you can use it as much as you'd like. Oh, I see. And um, where can I get these glowstones? From other people, I think. It seems to me that you're in need of some money. What's all that you're carrying? Looks heavy. Are you some kind of painter? Uh, that's exactly what I am. Mm. You know what? Maybe there's a way you can get the glowstones out of me after all. There's a gazebo in Lindau. Real pretty spot. Maybe you've been there. Anyway, I'd like a painting of that view. What, a view of the gazebo or a, or a painting of the view from the gazebo? There's a difference. But I don't mind painting it for you. The gazebo is easy to find. 
it's just behind the inn. Ah. And I want the painting from the gazebo, not of the gazebo. It's the view, not the building, if you get my meaning. I was just Don't about to clarify. I was just about to clarify. But you've answered my question in advance. So that's handy. So yeah, he wants a painting from the gazebo, not of the gazebo. Okay. I shall be back. In fact, painting of it right now, as the sun is setting, would be actually really nifty. So. Now this isn't the path that we took to come down here, but hey, we're going to adventure up this way, regardless. Oh. Hey, look at this. What a nice little comfy spot. Pillow, rug, couple of books, sit against the tree, watch the world go by. Not much is going by here, to be quite frank, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, and just chilling out. But nobody's here. Maybe we can use it. And this looks like some kind of zip wire. Or is it like a lift or something? No, it, it looks like, yeah, it's a kind of wire. Well, it looks like we may have missed the sunset. Uh, I'm just trying to discern whether or not it's best to paint this thing now or should we... Wait until morning, maybe. We'll go see what the view's like, and then we'll make a we'll make an uh, 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 you know uh, an artist's decision. I don't know what on earth we're picking up here. Uh, sticks and roots, lots of roots. Hmm, roots, you say? I wonder what your roots will be useful for. Okay, so we've, we've done a bit of a lap, haven't we, really? Come round, and then loops back down here. Nice scenic jaunt to finish the day off, I suppose. Bit of opportunity for us to gather our thoughts, thank our lucky stars we're still alive, to kind of mentally prepare ourselves as to what we want to achieve here. Which is paint those four places that our mother told us about. I don't know, let's go see what this view is like. Do we wish for a nighttime scene? Or how about a sunrise scene? Could be better, perhaps. View from the gazebo. Ooh, oh, 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 what the hell's going on? My screen's going all funny. What is this? Why is my... I need to get indoors. What's going on? What the hell happened here? 7.23 and a book. Shady and Folk Tales, Volume 1. Long ago, the air outside the planet grew terribly cold. Without any fur or feathers for protection, the sun began to freeze. She decided to make her flames as big and hot as possible to keep herself warm. The sun worked all day and night to keep her fires burning. Enormous flames reached all the way out to, her soil, to our soil and began to scorch the creatures here. Fires raged destroying homes and forests, but Sun was too exhausted to notice. Growing worried, the plants and creatures decided to help her. Okay. Together, they gathered twigs, leaves, fur and feathers and wove them all together into a large sheet of fabric. 
They covered it with clay to protect it from fire, and the trees lifted the woven mass into the sky. Take this blanket to rest yourself in warmth, the creatures cried. Sun slipped under the blanket and wrapped herself tightly. Her flames cooled and dimmed, leaving the land creatures in darkness. When Sun woke from her nap, her golden light returned to the creatures who danced and sang, thankful that their gift had worked. And so that is the story of Sun's blanket, which she still uses each day. Okay, what is that like a set? Is that like, yeah, don't go outside after the sun goes down, otherwise you're freezing hackers off. Oh, I'm nicking candles here. Is this the inn? It must be. Now we could go to bed, but before we do, I don't think we'll just have a quick uh, walk about, see if we can find anything else out about this situation that we now find ourselves in. What's the, what's the crack here? Can we not go out after dark? When I was a boy, merchants came to Lindau with strange spices and soft fabrics. They haven't been back in a long time, though. Yeah, what does Lindau import now? We mainly get shipments of teas, grains and fabrics. And headwear of the latest fashion, of course. In any case, there's always lots of work to do around here. So let's see what happens if we try to go through the door here. Oh, no, we're out. Yeah, look, it's happening again, isn't it? It's too cold. You look well. Take care now. <clears throat> so we um, are not equipped to deal with the uh, the outside climate when the sun goes down. It seems maybe these guys are because they've got all fur and stuff. And we can't see ourselves, but I'm assuming that we don't that we 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 we, we can't have. So that's fine. There's no nighttime uh, funny business then. The architect of Lindo. So Lindo's buildings are engineering marvels, as difficult to construct as they are beautiful. The designs of these technical endeavours are the work of one eccentric genius, Azad of Taria. Five years ago, this incredible architect vanished. His whereabouts remain a mystery to this day. Though praised for his accomplishments in engineering and architecture, he is perhaps most widely recognised throughout Eastshade for a rare genetic facial disfigurement. A polarising celebrity, many praise his genius, while others resent his supposedly arrogant disposition. Some even claim that his notoriety is owed entirely to the disfigurement, implying that his credited skills are in actuality nothing more than ordinary. However, only one needs to look around the town of Lindo to see he has built something wonderful. Rather poignant that the music just about kicks in as we finish that book there. Anyway, I think it's time for bed. It's too cold outside. We've done our reading for the evening. Let us enjoy the warmth. And uh, rise and shine in the morning. Sun rises around about sets. When does the sun exactly rise? Let's sleep until six. Hopefully it still won't be too cold outside. I want to catch the sunrise in my painting. Ah, rise and shine. Now I drink I drink some i drink some of that Lindonian tea, but uh we don't have the means to buy any more just yet, so uh, we'll have to make do without for now. Bit of brekkie. 
Right, let's try it. See what's, see what the story is here. Ah, the sun. Oh, is it? Are we too late for the sunrise? No, I think we might be just be in time here. Let's uh, let's just get a bit of a move on here. Let's see if we can catch a nice view. Look at these birds. They are they are frozen in time. <laughs> oh, how weird. Maybe we can paint them. Right, oh look at that, the view there with the um, sun just shining right there. I quite like that. Can we... Yeah, about there. People painting. Right, might do this with the... Here we go. Drag to adjust. There we go, full screen. Paint this scene right here. Yeah, I like that. Art for a fisherman updated. There we go. Look at that. There it is. Oh, nice. Nice. Let's take that. So we can check our paintings by pressing P. So there's our first one. View of our near death experience essentially and there we have what's all the little shady bits around the edge I miss a canvas but uh, you've got the this shining sun on the water a little bit of the view of the windmill in the background a slight bit of the moon in the corner this uh, is that, i quite like that one i think that'll i think he'll be happy our fisherman friend but there's only one way to find out. Let's go and see what he has to say. As we take a nice morning stroll back down towards his location, I suppose. But before we get to him, actually, there is somewhere I wouldn't mind just taking a look at. And that is, I think there was a path that kind of branched off to the right here. Yeah, here. Just going to uh, just take a slight detour. See where this leads. This is the beauty of exploration, you see. Sometimes you just get lost in it. Get distracted. God, there was also a path down that way. Paths upon paths upon paths. Where do we go? What wonders lay in store? And a path down here, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll just nip down there when we come back. The fisherman's not in a rush, is he? He didn't say it was time critical. Just a walk over the tops. Ooh, look, the building. That path down might lead to that, so we'll, we'll just check that out. Okay. This looks like it's going right back down to... Ah, look at that. Does it go to that building? Hmm. Let's take a look here. Can't help myself. Is this uh, an interactable? The abandoned tower. Ooh, inspirational. It's locked. An abandoned tower. So we've got so few little bits here. Oh, that's actually a quest. Azad, the one responsible for designing much of Lindo's architecture, mysteriously went missing years ago. Will we ever find him? Who knows? I found a dilapidated tower. Okay. 
and I've made a painting for the fisherman. I actually quite like how the quests are just like or little journal entries are just like snippets of information. You know, there's probably something to do here, but it's the, you know the game's not saying, well, to do it you've got to go here. It's leaving you just to ponder and think. Well, there's an abandoned tower there, right? Okay, I'll just lodge that in my journal and. Uh, if anything kind of springs to mind, or we stumble into anything, then we might be able to put two and two together and think, hang on a minute. It's just, it's just nice, I like that. But yeah, so far, as I wanted, really, there's no kind of quest markers, there's no, you know, map. We're just left to our own devices so far to just explore, see what's available. See what trouble we can get ourselves in. Which is... Uh, which is good. It heightens that sense of exploration. If you don't know what you're going to get yourself into. You don't know where you're going. What is this, for instance? Looks a bit uh, dishevelled. Old Lindo. Old Lindo. This is what Lindo used to be before it all went a bit wrong. It's a very precarious position. But there are stuff, uh, things in here. A couple of books, some materials, candles, fabric, it looks like. More candles. Nader the Water Fox. Celios laid out his blanket in a patch of sunlight. His water fox Nader sniffed about, searching for a nest of eggs to snack on. Stomach growling, he pulled a sachet of frosted biscuits and berry wine from his pack. Nader howled in excitement. She'd found a nest. With a thick crunch, she cracked into the egg, hungrily lapping out the contents before batting the empty shell aside. Celios grimaced as she started on her second egg. As charming as he found water foxes, he couldn't stomach their eating habits. Oh, the poor eggs. But some poor birds. Potential children that had been snacked on. Such as the life of, uh, you know, a, a circle of life, I suppose. Uh, property of Yulia Greywing. It's been raining for several weeks now. Tons of water pouring down in a constant torrent. Our home is filled with buckets to catch spills from the ever-growing leaks. How I long for a moment of clear sky and a break from the incessant drip dripping as I try to sleep. Disaster has struck. Last night, just after the eclipse, the red feathers woke to a creaking and groaning. They grabbed their children and ran outside moments before the house split from its stilts and crashed into the river below. Madame Baker has ordered an evacuation of all of Lindau until they can fortify our homes against this awful wet. Oh, terrible news. And only a day after we evacuated our homes and made camp on high ground, the entirety of our happy village has sloughed off into the river. Nearly half of the hillside broke from the mainland in a huge gush taking our homes down with it. What a horrible thing the weather has cast upon us. So this is the, uh, the end of, uh, prank of pastries. Yeah, that's the, that's the end of, uh, old Lindau. Kind of, uh, heavy weather, heavy rain. Boof, into the river it goes.
Right, well, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go off the beaten path now, and we are going to uh, just go through the brush, through the foliage, walk by the stream, enjoy a nice amble this morning, dip our toes into the water. Ah, we can actually go across this bit, it's not too deep here. Why not? Why not indeed? Alright, let's see how much this painting fetches, shall we? Well, looky here, you've gone and painted the gazebo view. Are you willing to sell it? Uh, I mean, I am rather fond of it myself, but we do need some, uh, some shells. Well, how about that? I've got myself something fancy. Enjoy. Damn fish aren't biting today. Received 25 glowstones. That's not quite uh, 60. I think it was it 60 for the toll. Thanks again for that painting. See you around. There's a man over there. I think it was 60. Yeah. The toll is 60 glowstones. We only have 25. Okay. Well, there's the wire that we saw before. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a bit of a... Well, what we could actually do... I'm thinking it might be the only way to do this is if we can't physically get across the toll and walk to where we want to go there is the option of course of getting that ox I'm th I don't think it'll be free but I reckon it might be cheaper than the 60 to use the toll but before we uh, do that we'll just have a meander through here Unless we can get around somehow, I doubt, but kind of would defeat the purpose of a toll if we could get across to the other side by an alternative measure. Unless it was a convenience cost to save you from having to go around this way all the time. But no, it looks like we're kind of, we're kind of stuck. And what do we have here? Sorry to intrude, but this collection of folks just all sat chilling reading books dipping into the water playing with boats okay we'll just uh, do a bit of foraging for now Guy's going all pinky. Oh, getting a painting of this would be quite cool, wouldn't it? I'm sure this stuff is going to come in handy. This pink sky, this is this is really nice, really cool. Uh, could we get a snapshot of this somehow? Is there? Nice to be able to get a painting of of, of this view somehow. 
but what could we uh we could paint the gazebo from a distance maybe there is the view from the top of that uh, building also it's quite nice sort of paint the town of Lindo and it's from the view up there we might, we might give that a, give that a try actually we need uh, another canvas there we go okay so we'll we'll see if we can get a painting of the village under the uh, blanket of a red sky and then we'll uh, go speak with the lady over there See if you can get us to Narva. Let's have a look and see what we can kind of... Mm -mm -mm. Kind of want the... something like that. Kind of... What if we go from an angle? Ah, look, we missed it. The sky is turning blue again. Bookeration. Nah, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling this view, my friends. Paul Vinius, not feeling it. Right, okay. Should I see what time it is? To say, I finish, to say I finish work late, actually, I think to myself, check the time and I'm thinking, it's only half six. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Strange. Because normally I finish at about three, half three, latest. So to finish at half five, I mean, to finish at five rather, half your evening's gone already, so... Anyhow, I digress slightly. Ah, a newcomer. In the future, if you're ever in need of carriage to Nava, I'm your driver. Well, it's funny you should say that, because I can't afford the toll, so hopefully your services will be a bit cheaper. I said in the future. I won't take you right now. Uh, why? You're a newcomer, and you've never been to Nava. Is not so far. And the walk is lovely. Everyone going to Nava for their first time should approach by foot. I won't be the one to cheat you out of an enriching experience. And if it's the cost of the toll bridge you're worried about, know that you would have to pay it whether you're riding with me or not, if it's your first time crossing. My ox is strong, no? Well, that put pay to my plan, didn't it? I know what I'll do. I'll start, I'll get on the ox there, well, hoo -hoo. avoid paying the toll, no you won't, you still pay the toll my friend, oh bloody hell, so we, we are short of um, conch shells, What's, what was it, glowstones, glowstones, but can we sell some of this stuff that we've collected, you know, can we sell some of it? I'm thinking that the best way to make money in this game, from what I've read, is to sell paintings, but I mean, does anybody in this particular town want to buy any paintings? I saw you talking with the captain. How is she doing? Well, I think, uh, well, she is going a bit crazy, perhaps, but that's because she really loved the ship. I don't think I've heard her talk about much else. Hmm, I wonder if she'll ever recover. How have you been? Maybe you can offer to paint it for her in its wrecked state. I've already done that. Here you go, have a painting of your ship. <laughs> oh, we've got loads more to talk about though because of the uh, information we've found. Cool, okay. Architect of Lindo. His disappearance was all very mysterious. Mm. I don't believe anyone's seen him in a long time. On the abandoned tower? Oh, yes. I saw that from the ship. It looked as if there was a light coming from inside. Could it be a lighthouse? Possibly. 
possible. Didn't serve us much good, did it? Uh, old Lindo. The original town built on the river. Mm. I remember hearing that it got destroyed in a mudslide. I heard that when I was really young. Indeed, it, it seemed to be. Seemed to be the case. Ominous sightings near the abandoned tower at night. But we can't go out at night. We end up bloody freezing our knackers off. It's a technical term, that, you see. Freezing one's knackers off. Let's go see if we can speak with Chappie, who's had the pot removed from his head. Maybe he's feeling a bit better today. Let's shut the door, shall we? Are you born in a barn, sir? Well, I guess it was convenient that you dropped in when you did. Uh, thanks for getting Nika. Okay, so there's nothing more we can say to him. Okay. Oh, thank you. Let's go see a couple more people, see what we can uh, un unearth, uncover. My garden is filled with all sorts of wriggly critters. Wriggly critters? You keep your wriggly critters to yourself. Certainly. Okay. Can we sell stuff? This is buying. She's like, she is a shop in sorts, but we can't seem to sell. We certainly don't want to waste any of our glowstones on anything else at the moment until we have got that. Um, you know, we've got the the toll the salty paid. The can't, never think, gets old. can't bloody put my brain in gear. That's, right. Uh, it would be helpful if it would indicate what you've already discussed with people, because I've kind of forgotten what we discussed with her. Probably the first three. That poor man. He had quite a gruff personality. Not very sociable. But I don't think he meant to offend people. I hope he's very happy, wherever he is. Let's hope. Towers like that were used to send fire signals to Nava. But we don't need to do that anymore. It's a bit eerie, but late the other night... I thought I saw lights coming from inside the tower. Mm, another one that's seen lights. Oh, it's probably just some kids playing a prank. So there's our lead. Perhaps we need to return to that tower in the night, but the trouble is, can we get there in the night whilst... We, you know, without, without freaking out or dying of hypothermia? That's where we all used to live. There was just so much rain one year. Luckily, we had the foresight to get out before the mudslide. No one got physically hurt, but the whole town was devastated. Okay, thank you for the information. Take care now. Ah. Let's go speak to this chap who thinks that eating out in the open is a grand adventure. You know, a life-threatening situation. I do enjoy this exciting new lifestyle I've adopted. Did I ever tell you about my journey to Linda? Uh, yes, it was very harrowing, apparently. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I'm sure you have the saga thoroughly memorized. Uh, I do, I do. Say, you do some sort of odd things, don't you? Do you think you could capture my sheer magnificence on canvas? I'm dying to show my friends what a remarkable traveller I've become. Well, now that, you've, now that you've mentioned it, I may be able to do that if you can pay me some glowstones. What stunning taste you have. Be sure to capture every bit of my elegance. But whilst you're a pompous patron, who cares if the patrons are pompous? If they pay, they pay, right? You want to... Uh, okay, so crackling fire, lovely food on table... Uh, bookshelves, I think that, and a bit of garlic hanging in the corner, perfect. Absolutely fantastic. Let's, uh, let's do it, shall we? Or maybe, maybe the garlic's a bit much. Or should we make him a bit off-centre? I don't know. Rather than the centrepiece, let's make him a bit more kind of like, you know. Something like that. Yeah, that'll do. Lovely fit, lovely fit. Maybe a bit lower, maybe a bit lower. Get more of the rug in. Just a bit more off-centre. Get the door in, maybe. 
I don't know why I'm debating so long over this. I'm not going to see this picture again, are we? Right, okay. P for painting. Let's go. Oh, we could... No, no, always, always go for the full screen option. Unless we go portrait. We could go portrait, couldn't we? Full, full beans. Full beans, my friends. Full beans. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. There we go. Up a bit more. Just a little touch to the side. Let's just capture the edge of the sort of half. It'd be easy with a mouse, actually. It's a bit sensitive. Uh, about there. Yeah, that'll do. Yes, a man that has risked the outdoors now sat reading in front of a fire. An epic painting that captures the the sheer risk taking that he routinely does. Oh my, that painting, it's the most perfect thing I've ever seen. I simply must have it. Yes, you must, but uh, it of comes at a cost. This is wonderful. My friends will be so jealous of me. I think I'll start a collection of paintings just like this. <laughs> Emmerich. Can you imagine? An entire wall filled with paintings of me. I'm glad you like it. I won't be uh, stopping by to see a wall of paintings though. Okay, so that's another patron satisfied. Um, I just can't wait to go home and show everyone this magnificent portrait. The beauty of my features entirely makes up for your lack of proper art training. You cheeky bugger. Right. I've heard of him. A terrible man. Just horrible. And not very good looking either. They say he disappeared, and I say good riddance. This guy is an absolute card, isn't he? Nasty piece of work. I haven't seen it. It's part of Old Lindo, though, so it probably isn't worth seeing anyway. Hmm. I'm not very interested in old things. New things are so much more beautiful. It's a matter of perspective, I think. But anyway, I think uh, we will we will we shall not be talking with him in uh, in a hurry again. I wouldn't have thought. Negative vibes, negative vibes, bad for the chakras. Right, let's continue on. Just asking people about uh, town, about the things that we've uncovered so far. See if it opens up a few more doors. Pardon the pun. Hey. Thanks again for the canvas. Oh, it's you. He's some really old guy. I'm pretty sure. That place is haunted. Every time I go there, I hear weird sounds. And some nights the windows light up. It's kind of creepy. I'm not scared of ghosts, though. That place is neat. My mom takes me there sometimes, but I'm not allowed to go by myself. Rightly so. It's dangerous. Okay, let's go speak with uh, Mr. Bear. There's definitely nobody to talk to in the, in the market, so... There's the ship captain also. I reckon the ship captain we might be able to do a painting for, you know. I reckon so. Mr. Bear, hello there. It's gonna be such a great prank. Uh, don't forget to meet me in Nava. I'm usually near the bakery. Okay, just checking. I like his accent. Let's go see if we can uh, cheer the captain up somehow. a person to mourn in peace no but I can offer you a painting though is that Annabelle 
Why did you paint her all ruined like that? Is this supposed to memorialize a resting place? Yes, exactly that. I mean, it was supposed to be for my own chronicled journal -y type thing, but if it's going to make you happy... Then you do understand this tragedy. I do. Thank you. She would thank you too. If she were still alive. I don't want anything to do with this painting. It's a thoughtful gesture, but you keep it. Oh, I want money. Oh. Take these. There's nothing worse than arriving in a new place, glowstoneless. Thank you. Now leave me be. All right, your wish is my command. How funny is that? You know, you, you, I randomly painted a picture of the ship because I thought, you know what, it's going to be great. It's it's good to sort of chronicle where we started and show. Uh, the fact that we survived, and then actually it, it, it's it's a painting that, by chance, is useful to uh, to lift her spirits a little bit. That's kind of cool. But by my calculations, we should have sixty-five glowstones now, which is enough to unlock the toll bridge, which is uh, perfect. So there's a couple of things for us to get our, ste uh, our, our, our teeth, our teeth stuck into. There is the abandoned tower, which of course I think we need to go towards night time. But I'm still not convinced we can do it just yet. I'm thinking for venturing out in the night, maybe we can get something. I don't know, like a cloak, traveling cloak, maybe, or something to keep us warm whilst we're outside in the night. I'm thinking maybe a nava. There might be something there. Uh, so I think our next. Our next port of call is going to be Narva. It's 350. It's not far, I don't think. But given that we are kind of time bound, because when it gets to a certain time, we are going to freeze to death, we can't afford to dawdle too much. But So I'm debating whether to go there now or sleep again, because it is free to sleep, and we're going to head out in the morning. I think that's probably best. I don't want to rush my journey. So I'm going to end the session here. I can't see my bloody time uh, on the screen I've minimized it my recording time but it feels like we've been going for about 40 minutes to 45 possibly so um, yeah I will end the session here in the inn where we shall just enjoy the crackling fire and ignore the pompous man and in the morning once we have retired to bed and refreshed ourselves we shall head on out towards the toll bridge which will open up the way towards Nava for us, where we will continue our explorations. So join me next time for that. Until then, I'll see you soon.